One of the things that stresses people out the most when they schedule their boudoir portrait session is what am I going to wear? I get it. This can be completely daunting because obviously you want to look great, you want to feel great in whatever you're wearing, and you want gorgeous photos. I can help. My name is Ben Markham. I am a portrait, boudoir, and professional headshot photographer. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to offer several suggestions based off of some of the things that have been favorites of my clients in the studio. There's no way I'm going to be able to cover every look possible. So if there's things that I forget or just didn't get into this video that you would love to be photographed in, leave it in the comments below. It could be helpful to somebody else. And finally, before I jump into it, be sure to click the subscribe button. I'm going to be adding a lot of new videos and a lot of content that'll help you get the most out of your portrait, boudoir, or headshot appointment. Let's go. I think lingerie is the first thing that pops to most people's minds when they're thinking about doing a boudoir photo shoot. If lingerie is a look that you want to do, I would say that this is the time to get the good stuff. Whether that's something that you already own or whether you need to go shopping, you should feel amazing in the pieces that you choose to wear. This is a time to think about your comfort level as well. Some pieces are going to be more sheer than others. Some pieces are going to be cut in such a way that they reveal more than other pieces. So make sure that you are completely comfortable with how much is shown in the lingerie that you choose to wear. Also, think about color. So black is going to go with everything. You can never go wrong with black lingerie or white or cream, the basic colors. However, jewel tones also can look really wonderful on camera. I'm going to interject a personal opinion here, and I would typically say avoid bright neon colors or things that are really, really loud. What can tend to happen is those colors will distract from you. And while the clothing is certainly a part of what we're going for, at the end of the day, the portraits need to be about you. Textures on your lingerie can also add depth and dimension and really bring some life to the pieces. So look for textures that complement the piece, but don't stand out so much that they become the star of the show. As a note, do be sure to try on all of your lingerie a few days before your session. We want to make sure that everything fits you amazingly and that you feel absolutely wonderful in those pieces. Fabric drape has become one of the go-to looks in my studio and one of the ones that my clients love the most. What's great about fabric is we can style it in a number of different ways and it works great with sitting poses, laying down poses, standing poses, really the sky's the limit. Fabric draping has been used in classic art and sculpture for centuries, and it's for a good reason. It looks amazing, it adds beautiful line to the portraits, and a sense of softness. Depending on the sheen of the fabric, it can also really add some depth and dimension to the portraits. I do keep a selection of fabric in the studio that people are more than welcome to use in the studio. I have silks, I have lace, I have velvet, I have plenty of things here for you to use. However, if there are pieces that you have that you love that you want to bring with you, you can absolutely do so. Scarves work beautifully. Robes work beautifully. There's a lot of things that we can do, so feel free to bring along your favorites. So this may not fit everybody's comfort level, and that is more than okay. But nudity is an option for your boudoir portraits. Just like with the fabrics, nudity has been used in art and sculpture for centuries. It can be done tastefully and it can be done artistically. Does going nude in your portraits mean that we have to show everything? Absolutely not. We can pose you or light you in ways that you can still get the nude aesthetic without showing things that you don't want to show. Hopefully some of these ideas help inspire you on how you want to be photographed for your boudoir portraits. Obviously, I can't cover every look here, so I encourage you to spend some time with art or sculpture or magazines like Vanity Fair. Wherever you find inspiration, dig into it. At the end of the day, whatever looks that you select, 
you should be excited to be photographed in and should feel amazing in. If you'd like to see more of my work or schedule a boudoir session, you can visit my website at benmarkham.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at benmarkhamphoto, and you can follow me on TikTok at benmarkham. And of course, don't forget to follow this channel. I've got a lot of new content coming. Thank you so much.